For many years, research institutions have been lacking funding support from the national government to carry out effective research. This year, the national government has shown interventions in that space as revealed by the DS Secretary. For many years, we didn't see allocation for research. And this year, each research institution got a substantial amount of money, between 9 to 12 million each plus universities, which is Prime Minister first time, and we appreciate very much. We cannot grow a quality of higher education if it's not supported by research. And uh, Prime Minister heard our cry, and he makes sure that this year budget the allocation for research is done, and it's really, really appreciated by it. research institutions and by the universities. So all our research institutes, medical research institutes, agriculture research, and national research institutes, at the PLG Medical Research um, uh, Institute. Yeah, Medical Research Institute. Uh, they receive money for research, some sort of amount between 8 to 10 million just for research. On top of that, each recognized universities, other eight, each of them receive funds for research. PM, thank you very much. That's Prime Minister James Marape revealed that this support is necessary as they have been underutilizing these important research institutions. Underutilizing them, so we're ensuring that. They are resourced and they do research data to support their own work as well as cross support other agencies of, uh, of state for the betterment of our citizens and our people. All right, on the education sector, I just want to say the reason why we come out big in education this year is, uh, is to impress on our people that education is important. This statement was made during the Prime Minister's announcement of the 293.1 million kina to commence the 2024 academic year in Port Moresby recently. Sharon Engnui, National MTV News.